Inside of Buchenwald concentration camp, over 50,000 prisoners and inmates never made it out alive. Buchenwald was considered one of the largest camps set up inside the Third Reich, and it was a place of great execution, torture and cruelty. Over 280,000 prisoners passed through the barbed wire fences, and many succumbed to the horrific conditions upheld by the SS guards, who were trained in imposing a reign of terror. The Commandant of Buchenwald, Carl Otto Koch, was even found guilty of embezzling money from the Nazis, along with his wife, the Witch of Buchenwald, Ilse Koch. Karl Koch was later taken back to the camp, which he once oversaw, and was executed by the guards there. It was a place where death lurked around every corner, and many of the killings were never recorded on the camp's books, as the next shooting facility dispatched around 8,000 Soviet POWs, who were killed in secret at the camp. This was a fake medical facility, which tricked prisoners to measure their height, as an executioner stood behind them, armed with a pistol, hidden in a secret compartment. But there was one man who was considered one of the most feared and savage guards of the whole of the concentration camp system. Walter Gerhard Martin Sommer was considered the hangman of Buchenwald, and he was a depraved sadist. But what did he do? Join us today as we look at the disgusting crimes of the hangman of Buchenwald, and remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Martin Sommer was born on the 8th of February 1915, and he was a master sergeant in the SS. He rose to the rank of SS Hauptscharfuhrer, and was known for serving as a guard at Dachau and also Buchenwald. As mentioned, he was considered a shocking SS guard, and his conduct mostly circled around what he did specifically at Buchenwald. In 1943, Heinrich Himmler, the head of the SS, ordered an SS judge, named George Conrad Morgan, to look at possible charges of corruption and cruelty that occurred at Buchenwald. As mentioned, the Commandant and his wife were arrested and were brought to trial, but more stories emerged, also of Martin Sommer's conduct. The judge found evidence that alleged that Sommer had a secret compartment under the floor of his office in which he kept many instruments of torture. It was believed that inside of his chamber he had a number of needles which he used to kill the victims of his torture by injecting them with carbolic acid after he had done with them. He also possibly may have injected air into their veins which caused prisoners and victims to have an embolism. It was alleged that late into the night Martin Sommer would torture the inmates of Buchenwald and that after he killed them, he would hide the bodies of his victims under his bed, and then in the morning he would dispose of them in the crematoria, or they would be simply dumped elsewhere. He was linked to being a man who often whipped prisoners, sometimes to death. Floggings and whippings were known to be administered inside many different concentration camps to deal with people who were considered rule-breakers. It was said at the whipping block, some have forced prisoners to count aloud the strikes of the whip he gave them, or when he beat them with a heavy stick. If a prisoner lost count, then Sommer would begin the punishment all over again. It was known that if 25 lashes or hits were given, a prisoner could survive this, but any more could easily result in death. One man was sentenced to 25 strikes, and Sommer then gave 60 lashes to him. This man, it was said, was killed on the spot, and Sommer later admitted to the beatings, and he even at trial built a cardboard model, showing what the whipping block looked like. He said that I can't claim to have hit the last strikes as hard as the first. You always get a little tired. But it seemed his antics at the whipping post were just some of the less shocking crimes he committed. There were allegations that Sommer was seen inside of Buchenwald beating a pastor from Weimar to a bloody pulp. He then hanged him outside and then threw buckets of cold water on him and then left him to freeze to death in the cold. But the testimony about the hangman of Buchenwald would get much worse when he was met with evidence that he killed two Austrian priests in a completely barbaric attack inside of a forest near to the camp. The forest nearby became known as a singing forest, as it was here where Sommer would hang many people by their wrists to the trees, and they would scream long into the night and would suffer. In the winter these people would freeze to death and die from exposure. Otto Neurura and Matthias Spanlang were priests who had been sent to Buchenwald, for actions that were deemed in opposition to the Nazis' ideas and beliefs. Nerura, for example, was sent to a concentration camp as he advised a woman not to marry a Nazi man who had questionable morals, and for this he was sent to Dachau before he was transferred to Buchenwald. At Buchenwald he was brutally tortured by Sommer, and he was sadistically killed inside of the camp. He was tortured for information following allegedly performing a banned baptism, and was subject to being hanged upside down, naked by Martin Sommer. 
The hangman, whilst he was hanged upside down, beat him, and for 34 hours, Nurura was forced to undergo this, until he then succumbed to his ordeal, and died from his torture at the hands of the hangman. Also, Matthias Spanlang underwent the same torture, and was killed in the same way, and the two Austrian priests were killed by Sommer's first for violence and torture. The pair were crucified upside down, and one witness saw the events and said that Nerura did not complain once as he faced his death. Sommer was also accused of beating a Catholic priest to death, who performed the sacrament of penance on an inmate. Inside the nearby forest he carried out more hangings. He would be seen often leading a group of prisoners out to the nearby woods, and once in there he would tie their hands behind their backs, and would hang them one by one from the trees there. They were tied with their hands behind their backs, and their full weight on their shoulders could easily cause dislocations, and this would be excruciating for the prisoners. Their feet were suspended around 18 inches from the ground, and the prisoners were often left there for hours, and the cries would echo across the camp. His crimes were compared to looking into Dante's Inferno, and there were accusations that his desk was lit from a candle inside of a skull of one of his victims. He is mentioned also administered lethal injections, and would beat confessions out of a prisoner to a savage extent. He also, one time, placed the head of a prisoner inside an iron clamp, and screwed it until the prisoner's skull cracked under the pressure. Now, as mentioned, Heinrich Himmler had assigned an SS judge to look into brutality and barbarism at Buchenwald, as well as improper treatment of prisoners. Himmler's man learned all about Sommer's treatment, and he was considered too much of a sadist and a brute for even the most harrowing of SS soldiers. For this, he was reduced in his rank, and was then forced to serve inside a penal battalion on the Eastern Front, and he was later wounded in a tank explosion, where he lost his right leg and left arm. He was taken as a prisoner of war by the Red Army, and was then considered a war criminal in 1950, before he was then released by the Soviets in 1955. He then went back to West Germany, and married and had a child, and was considered a disabled war veteran, receiving a pension. However, he was later brought to trial for the deaths of 101 concentration camp prisoners, and in 1958, he was convicted of being responsible for the deaths of 25 of them, and for this was given a life sentence in prison. For the rest of his life, Sommer spent his time behind bars, or inside hospitals or nursing homes. Martin Sommer, the hangman of Buchenwald, was a concentration camp guard, whose crimes even appalled Heinrich Himmler, the man who was ultimately responsible for the Holocaust. His activities inside of Buchenwald were deemed as bringing the SS into disrepute, and were considered too brutal for even the SS. He was a depraved and sick killer, who was known for hanging his victims in the forest nearby, and also for crucifying priests, as well as killing his torture victims with his own hands. Sommer was a brute, and a man considered today one of the worst and most evil war criminals of the Second World War, and today many of Martin Sommer's crimes remain untold. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.